Don't want to do intros real quick. So I'm Matt Lyon. I'm the owner of Bantam Saddle Tag, this little company out of eastern Idaho. Yay! Thanks. Um, we build number one goat, goat gear, pack goat gear. We also build for uh, mini donkeys, mini horses, occasional yak, mini zebu, but mainly goats. I mean, I own goats. That's the only pack animal I own. So that's number one. And then we do little work in mini donkeys, mini horses, and how, how many other things. Huh? How many? How many? Uh, <laughs> if, uh, if we have to, never mind okay. me. up to about a Shetland. <laughs> Shetland's getting into custom territory for me. Because, anyway, yeah. Okay. Right. Sorry. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit. I also <laughs> do uh, one other thing. I also, do, I also work in uh, right there, industrial right sewing machines. So anybody that do it yourselfers, you know, we get into a lot of those types of people here. So, uh, uh, I have hand crank sewing machines, industrial sewing machines, um, threads, um, sewing machine parts, leather machinery, like um, leather cutting machines, stuff like that. And I've got business cards with me here, anybody that wants one, and uh, I've got a little website, so if anybody wants to see, uh, we'd appreciate your support. I've been teaching for seven years, and the last three years I've been half-time, and been trying to uh, work toward my ambition of being fully self-employed, and I just resigned about a month ago so, so I'm going uh, we're I've invested a lot of money in machinery and we're trying to do it right and and uh, anyway so, so this uh, is a is a goat jacket we'll just start with this and we're gonna get to more of its features here in a few minutes but um, I should have explained before I opened it it rolls up and this is a, a near production uh, stage <coughs> prototype. I've got three different prototypes here right now. So this is just a little goat jacket. This is not the fabric that we're going to use. We're going to use a diamond rip stop, which looks like this. Wrinkle. Doesn't wrinkle, so better for traveling goats. They Doesn't will rip they them. A, what's that? They will rip them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, anyway, and so this is still kind of in, in development, but it's getting close. And uh, anyway, it has a little pocket here. I can show you at the end maybe how that folds down. It folds down to, into its own little Velcro pocket. And then when it opens up, uh, this is kind of in between for Merciless. This is what we're uh, kind of looking at as our large size. And then we have a medium and an extra large. And uh, from the left side, it's just real quick. And uh, when, when Mark gets Merciless packed, we're going to show you one other thing this does, or is intended to do, which is turn into a pack cover. So, so that was Velcro right there on his chest? Yeah, so it's got a little Velcro. Uh, patch just to keep that from slipping and sliding and then these are not going to be the production straps but uh, that's a little chest strap and then it's got a girth if I can find it this little girth strap and then they hate the legs guys. yeah and it depends <laughs> on the goat we're still we've we've debated and we're still playing with this whether it's better to uh, bring the leg strap from here and then tighten this way, or bring the leg strap from here. And that's and then, the way I like to do it. But then you have to tighten this way. Right. So anyway, and they just need to be loose. So. So he has full mobility to lay down, to walk, yep. whatever, yep. with that, without them binding. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And yep. this is if again, it, this is a tweener, so this is, you can get the bigger size, and he'll have more room in it. Right, yeah. so so the little bit bigger will be even more. If, yeah. if Are that's they sized by their weight or dimensions? They, uh, <laughs> we're, we're, the way we're going to list, um, primarily the way we're going to list the sizes is with a weight range. Um, okay. But we can specify dimensions too if we need to. This weight range is these approximate dimensions type thing? It's The way we're going to list it just for simplicity is a medium is this weight, you know, from X weight to okay. that weight, a large is this weight to that weight. I don't remember the numbers because we don't have them with us, but right. uh, I've got them at home. But and then an XL is this size. But if somebody asks, obviously some of these different breeds are weights not gonna isn't the end all. So mm -hmm. you know dimensions come into play too. That's our medium. So this is large, and then this is XL. Say that again. the fabric, the construction, no, the production straps. Oh, like this. Yeah, web. Uh, yeah, poly webbing. I, I use poly webbing on most things because it's the best outdoor fiber. It's it's it does. It's not quite as abrasion resistant as nylon, but it has high abrasion resistance, way better UV resistance, way better in the water, low stretch. So that's why that's why I use a lot of poly. That's the XL. Is that PU coated? Uh, yeah. 
on the back for you, Kevin. Yep. So the theory, the theory behind this is, is that our goats, our goats hair does the job that it's supposed to right it's their insulation the only thing this is for is to keep out wind and rain right so if it's super windy or it's super rainy that's what we're trying to keep off of them as soon as you add an insulative factor to it then you squish their hair down and you make them less insulative right so it's the let them be a puffy coat underneath this let them stand up their hair and just have this keep out wind and rain so that's kind of the theory and on top of it then they make a great pannier cover as well because you can yank it out and the way matt's brilliance in the configuration will show you how it goes over panniers too in the same unit so having one thing do two things right so will sorry. you make a bright orange for hunting season you can? we'll we'll take it into yeah and we're open to i'm open to feedback people have feedback questions but i want to hear it so red or orange red or orange mm -hmm. so i want them to stand out like a sore thumb on the trail yeah i'm i'm looking at this red right now i've red got screen. i've got a really good source but we're i'm working on orange because i need people to it. So I didn't let you intro, I just kept going. No, it's okay. Okay. So yeah. those things just go snap on very loosely to leave the fluff yep. on it. What about the back? And notice it doesn't go down very far in the back. Or uh, uh, I just can't see it. You mean back here? Yeah, down that, towards the bottom of the tail. That's more a product of the sizing on the okay. Yeah. So if we put the large on him, it would, it would go XL. cover more of his backside, and maybe a yep. little bit more on the neck, possibly. Yeah, yep, okay. you're going to get a little more here, and you're going to get a little more here, and right. you're going to get a little more here. This is 36 by 36, ba the basic mm. panel. The XL is thir uh, 42 by 42. Okay. XPU so. or whatever you said Cody was at. Polyurethane. So that's waterproof. Waterproof, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, that's another point is stitching-wise, you see up here, no Nothing. stitching, right? We're trying to keep the, the only stitching is down low because anybody that calls something waterproof, it's going to be hundreds of dollars if they're going to truly call it waterproof. We're going to call them water resistant. Um, and no fabric manufacturer, almost no fabric manufacturer will call their fabric waterproof. It's going to be water resistant. But we're going to do uh, our best to keep, we're going to poke holes low on the jacket and not poke a bunch of holes up here. So there's no, no seam yeah. sewing. But. So Matt's going to show you how the coat fits over the panniers real quick. Okay, so just real quick. So here's the jacket again. So uh, to convert to a pack cover, these aren't the ideal pannier, the way they're loaded to show this, but you know, a, a fuller, smaller pannier, you'd have more of a horizontal top up here, right? But uh, we'll just use Merciless for a table. So uh, this side, and we don't have any, uh, by the way, no hook Velcro against the goat when, when, it's a, when it's a jacket. It's just loop Velcro. So this side just folds down. Um, this chest strap, just slips back through here. This uh, this has a, a, two things to it. One, it's it's the roll-up pouch to roll the jacket into, and then when we turn it into a pack cover, it lets us get to our hook Velcro, so we can turn this into a square. All right, so now we've got a square. Um, the only other thing we've got to do. Oh no, I've already done it. So when I slipped that um, this one back through the the little loop that held it on the chest, that let this now become a D-ring stay, D-ring stay, D-ring stay, D-ring stay. So it still orients on the goat the same way. Okay. And it's, you know, it's not a perfect fit and it doesn't, and it depends on the size. This doesn't get you a 100% coverage. But really easy. I played with a few different strap configurations and I had way too much, it was way, I had them all kind of removable and then I realized only that none of them needed to be removable. Anyway, that, we're still working on it a little bit, but that's the basic. So now you have a pannier cover. I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So okay. that weighs nothing, right? It's about 10 ounces, yeah. And no bulk. No right. bulk. Excuse yep. Right, because yeah. it'll go in that, show them how it goes in that little pouch. Oh, and yeah. Then that's the, so. So it's a pretty, so pretty cool. Back the yeah. And this, I don't quite have the the pouch uh, just right yet. But what it does is with the whole thing, uh, with the pouch inside out, then this works better on a table. But you can basically <laughs> fold and roll. And actually, I realized you can just kind of wad wad 
and this the top uh, flap if I do it on a table, I can get it, but it needs to be a couple inches longer. So we're, we're still not going to have that. a table in the mountains. <laughs> no, not, that's why we've got it. This this will extend to where it, you'll reach. Yeah, the and then 